I'm Rosa, an artist, graphic designer and illustrator from Finland. Today I'm working on a pastel portrait of a baby boy. A full list of the tools used can be found in the video description. First I'm transferring my pencil sketch onto a pastel matte board with a transfer paper. Pastel matte holds colors really well, which is great, but it means I can't afford any mistakes. When color is applied to pastel matte, it's really hard to erase it, and that's why it's better to make the sketch on a separate paper. When I'm done with the transfer, I can start applying colors. I'm using pan pastel for the base colors and pastel pencils for details. I decided that I want to share whatever little tricks and tips I know about art. I'm mainly self-taught and owe a lot to fellow YouTuber artists around the globe for sharing their knowledge. So, it's time for the art tip of the day. Pastels smudge easily, even from the lightest touch. But to be able to do details, the hand needs to rest on something. So, how to stop smudging your artwork then? One good way to go would be a painting stick. You can buy it or make it yourself. Cut a broomstick to about half length, add something soft like cotton wool to the other end and tie a piece of clean cloth around it. You can rest the stick on the easel or an area of the paper that you haven't colored yet. If you're working on canvas though, don't rest the stick on it. The canvas might stretch and lose its shape. You can also use a piece of glassy under your hand like I did earlier in the video. I like using both methods, but the stick is usually more ergonomic for my wrist. Of course, colors don't smudge as easily on pastel mat than on a regular pastel paper, but it's still good to keep the oils and humidity of the skin away from your artwork. Now, I don't want to make these videos all about me. There are so many talented and hardworking artists out there that deserve to be found. And that's why I'd like to introduce my favorites to you. It's time for Artist of the Day. Today I'm featuring Sanni Marianne, an artist with an outstanding imagination and she is very versatile as well, working both digital and traditional. She also makes these small cute sculptures. I have one painting she made and here you can see that she has used real yarn. Go check her Instagram profile at sannimarianne.art If you'd like to be featured in my video, please leave a comment below and tell me more about yourself and your art. Thanks for watching! If you liked what you heard and saw, please subscribe and remember to hit the bell icon so that you will be notified when the new video comes out. You can also find me from Facebook and Instagram with the name tag Robakka and my web address is rosakansala.fi. Bye!